Welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play, the weekly episodic uh, podcast thingamabob that is live on the interwebs, and uh, we talk about the video games and stuff. Were you trying to do raw? I was. <laughs> we talk about the video games. Um, we are all from InsertCoinToBegin.com, gaming news for gamers, by gamers, on gamers, and gamers, with gamers, and yep. gamers. Don't stop making faces at me. You're distracting me. <laughs> uh, joining me this week is Bobby FJ Town and Riz IUP, both contributors and writers on InsertCoinToBegin.com. How many more times can I say that? InsertCoinToBegin.com. In case you haven't joined us before, each week we have a series of questions that are hopefully going to prompt debate and conversation that leads to uh, movie uh, Lego naming and... A bunch of other healthy distractions of video games. I'm pretty sure we named every video game or Lego movie. Lego Looper. <laughs> oh. Ah, nice. Lego Wally. I think someone said that. It was probably me. Um anyhow, uh and each week we start with the same question. It is what are you playing and did you play the challenge? However, last week we didn't have a challenge. So uh yeah. Hey Bobby. I did play the challenge this week. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. Um, what are you playing, played, buddy? Of course I played Borderlands 2. I'm addicted to the game. It's awesome. Um, Avengers Alliance, also addicted to that. It's I'm going to start getting help soon. Uh, I played the NBA 2K demo and lost my ass 22-6. to 6. It was Good only one job. quarter demo. And Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I played. <laughs> All were fun, except for M NBA 2K. <laughs> Riz. Yes. What'd you play this week, buddy? Again, I played Borderlands 2. Of course you um, did. Then I picked up FIFA Soccer 2013 upon a friend's request. And Not, not me. Not you, because <laughs> you're still playing Borderlands. I'm still playing Borderlands. I asked, I asked uh, Bobby, and he said Borderlands. Mm -hmm. I was already playing Borderlands. And also, I stopped by the local Best Buy, cheap plug, and they had the PlayStation All-Star demo up. So I played a few minutes of that and realized I suck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I've been playing. We could have saved you some time and told you that, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. This week I played, and I actually have a list of games on my phone because uh, Android reached 25 billion downloads, so they started... Uh, selling apps and games for 25 cents a piece. What? Yeah, it was last five days. He should have been paying attention. Damn it. Um, but I, I picked up uh, Rebuild. Uh, it's a game where you have to rebuild towns and uh, create uh, societies with uh, other people after a zombie apocalypse and then World of Goo. And what else was there? What else did I play? Uh, I beat GTA 4 on... Saturday? No, Sunday. And uh, I beat Lego Batman 2 on Sunday. Lego Batman and Robin. So it was, uh, it was a pretty uh, successful weekend. Uh, I will start uh, probably Rage <laughs> soon. <laughs> Even though I've been saying that for a while because it, <laughs> I've, I've had that game since... Uh, I actually had that game before I got an Xbox. Oh, I thought you were talking about the emotion. No. <laughs> uh, the game for Xbox 360. I had yeah. that game before I bought the Xbox and still haven't played it. So oh, wow. what did you do when you had the game with no <laughs> Xbox? Did you just stare at it? Yes. This is going to be epic. Yes. <laughs> uh, for like a day because I, I picked up an Xbox the next day. It's going to be so good. Well, a, a co-worker had it <clears throat> and uh, was going to take it and trade it in. So I gave him what he would have gotten for the trade in. Oh, okay. Because, oh. I mean, it was a brand new game. He never Nine opened bucks. it. Nine bucks. Yeah, he, he never opened it. So I I gave him what he would have gotten for the trade-in, uh, knowing well that I was going to buy an Xbox the next day. So uh, it's not like I bought the game and then it was like, oh, man, this game is going to be so awesome. I need an Xbox to play it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I beat a couple of games. So it was, it was a good week. You guys have a challenge this week, or are we just going to skip it again? I was going to suggest that Kung Fu Strike 
now that I remember the name on Xbox Live. Kung the the demo is available. Kung Fu Strike oh, on Xbox Kung Live. Do you want to tell us about the game? It's uh, it's like a fighting game mashed up with a um, Final Fight or Double Dragon or something like that. Um, it's really fluid. It's almost like Batman uh, Arkham City or Arkham Asylum as far as combat goes. It's a pretty good game. I, I actually enjoyed the um, the demo of it. I was thinking about picking it up if it goes down in price maybe, but it's it's worth a look. So does that mean you're going to actually play the challenge? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I already did play the challenge, so there you go. Good Second. job. No, see, you keep giving us challenges that you've already played, and then mm. you never play the challenges that other I, people give you. No, I do. I, I did. I played Scrambled Friends. I'm sorry. Out of the 18 episodes we've done this, <laughs> you've played one challenge given to... No, I've played, I've played a couple challenges. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, All right, so uh, Kung Fu uh, Panda is the, the challenge. <laughs> no, Kung Fu Strike. Kung Fu Strike is the challenge this week. See, that's not fair, because there is a Kung Fu Panda demo on there. There is. Oh, okay. There is. On uh, Xbox Live demo, so go download that and play it. Um, I'm not going to play this challenge because it was given to us by Bobby. So, Aww. so instead I'm going to play the, uh, NBA, uh, 2K. <laughs> 2K <demo. laughs> 2K that was 12. suggested by Bobby. <laughs> then, Good luck with that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be playing that. Um, no, I haven't actually read the rest of the questions for this week. So <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see what comes up in this list of, uh, questions. I'm sorry. It was a very busy day. Uh, with the you, partnership you of us, oh, go ahead. With the partnership of Microsoft and IE, what would you browse on your Xbox if you were going to browse on your Xbox? Riz, porn, porn. I, I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the other porn. day, I was sitting there. I was like, you know what? It would be kind of awesome if I could just get porn on my Xbox. Hey, hey. <laughs> Story nine yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know there was. Uh, we actually covered this on uh, insert coin to begin dot com uh, because Porn. of the addition of the Internet Explorer browser to Xbox. You can now, uh, if you would like, get porn on your Xbox. Uh, yep. Technically, you already can with HBO Go. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's that's not that's, porn. That's, that's not porn. That's softcore. Yeah, that's barely porn. That's, that's, that's not. That's not porn at all. That's the game of the game of Th- Game of Thrones app. Um. No, actually, uh, go ahead, Bobby, because I'm just going to agree with you. <laughs> I, I would actually use it for gaming purposes. Um, uh, I would look up stuff on game FAQs if I was stuck or something like that, like because that's usually useful. So, and it, and it, and it would be you know just stopping the game and just you know, although you could have it up at the same time, I guess too, but. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. If I'm going to use the browsing on the Xbox, it's going to be to look up hints and stuff if I get stuck in a game. You're all doing it wrong. <laughs> Listen, the whole not purpose say, of porn... Do the other thing. No, the whole purpose of porn is to not tell everyone you're looking up porn. <laughs> it's a discre- Just saying. It's a discreet activity. Like, you're not telling us right now that you're looking at porn. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing we didn't get the lady on tonight. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, she'd probably be looking up porn, too. <laughs> yeah, she would. You're talking about the one that traps Sims in rooms and then lights them on fire. She'd be forcing the Sims. Okay. Box. Yeah. That- <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, actually, I did read this question. Uh, have you taken off for work for a game release, and do you, do you feel it's worth it? Bobby. Uh, I, di- I did take off for one release, and that was Skyrim. Uh it was it was one of the best days of my life, <laughs> just because I missed work and I got to play my game. I would actually I was waiting for the game for like actually I took a whole weekend off, like the three days because I was I was going to be off anyways and it was it was fun, and I didn't play Skyrim the whole time but it was it was fun. But other than that, I really don't take day, days off for games. Well, you didn't answer the question then. Do what you, you feel do you feel it's worth it to take off? For the release of a yeah. game. Yeah, I feel it was worth it when I took off for Skyrim. So, yeah, I'd say yeah. Okay. Riz? No. No? No. It, that's why they have pre-orders. And you I, can pick I'm it up. I'm not saying... Wait, wait, yeah, wait. If you, when no, you pick it up... get the game. Yeah. Playing the game. Playing the game. Yeah, yeah. to take off to play the game, not pick up yeah. the game. I mean... No. 
Still no. Still I mean, no. it's a there, there's there's good games out there, but you have to make some money True. to buy more games. And I'm not just going to sit in my house and play video games day. when there's you know money to be made. You could take a vacation day and get paid. Yeah. Oh, that's true. But because, still, I mean, the whole reason this I brought this up and put it in the notes is because I, I'm kicking back and forth the idea of uh, taking the rest of the week off when Assassin's Creed 3 comes out. That's good. Because, I mean, I have a lot of vacation time stockpiled. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm at 100 hours of PTO time that isn't going anywhere. <laughs> like, you if I don't... have if, a Boston Tea Party. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I, if I don't... If I don't use it, it's going to sit there, and it's just going to keep going up and up and up. So, I, I was... I, I figured I have it. I might as well just go get the game and then take off and beat it in that weekend. I, I, I don't know why, but I have this image in my head of you sitting there playing the game and you've acquired your own colonial style hat. <laughs> 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 Which is one of the things that doesn't come with the collector's edition. No, 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 but I'm sure you can find one here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> like, I, I was I was thinking about it. I, I was going to pick up the collector's edition because I like some of the stuff that's in it, but not everything. Which is why it's a hard choice for me because it comes with... A uh, cl- a sixteen star is sixteen, thirteen. It comes with a colonial uh, United States flag with the Assassin's Creed in the stars, uh, symbol in the stars, and it comes with the uh, the Assassin's logo belt buckle, and it comes with uh, a Connor statue. Yeah, it's up on the screen, and uh, everything but the statue. I I'm interested in. So I, I'm seriously, um, I'm like, you know what? I should buy it and then just put the statue on eBay for like forty bucks, and, and just get, sell the one thing in there I don't want. And you get a credit tee. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna cut cut in with you here. I do agree that if you buy like the extended packs of games, like uh, collector's editions for Assassin's Creed, or what I liked about uh, Black Ops, Black Ops Two. Is that their care package? You get a that your own drone, your re- remote control oh, yeah, drone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the helicopter thing. And if I would have done, if I would have had PTO or something like that, I would probably play that all day <laughs> as well. Yeah, but I mean, so, I, I was <laughs> and and like Sorg said, he pictured me sitting there with a colonial style hat <laughs> playing Assassin's Creed Three. But in my head, I was I would be sitting in my recliner with just the flag just hanging right behind me, like I was getting ready to give like a, a pre war speech. <laughs> if you go to Fort Ligonier and Ligonier, I'm sure they have colonial hats. <laughs> <laughs> colonial hats. <laughs> <laughs> Enough colonial hats, uh, but uh, um, so uh, in according er, acor- uh, in your opinion, both you guys and the chat rooms, do you think this is something I should pursue? Like, should I just take off the rest of the week to beat uh-huh. Assassin's Creed Three before I go back to work on Monday? If you videotape it and put it on YouTube, <laughs> if I videotape Why? it, you can live stream. It. Well, did I just say videotape it. Yes, you did videotape it. <laughs> <laughs> we are in. Wow. We are in the eighties. Do live stream it. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me yeah, show live you my track. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a long live stream. Do it. And it'd get do boring it. after a while. Who cares? People do it. Speedruns. No, seriously. We <laughs> all like check in on you. Like every once in a while, is he still doing good? Is he still wearing the colonial hat? Are his pants <laughs> on? You put a webcam. Go grab a couple webcams. We have enough. Uh, you put one on you. Put one on the game. Boom. Hmm. There Done. You go. Put one on the hat. Put one on the hat. Colonial cam. Yeah, colonial hat cam. Coming to you live from the colonial hat cam. (laughs) Colonial hat cam. (laughs) I love this Uh idea. We are going on a different (laughs) rant right now. Lego Patriot. We'll talk about this after the show. Lego Lego Patriot. Patriot. Uh, What's the funniest level slash mission in the game? Uh, uh, Riz, we'll start with you. Uh, I was gonna say the great mighty poo, but I I always say that when it comes to funny stuff. But in mission wise, it's Genki Bull, Genki Bull Seven. It's downloadable content for um, Se- uh, Assassin's Creed Three, Saints Row Three, and it pretty much features you shooting things that are in costume, like a giant hot dog or a giant cat. 
or a dog or beating them up with a giant uh, phallic thing. You can say it. Dildo. <laughs> dildo. <laughs> There's a giant purple dildo. And you can smack them with it. <laughs> giant floppy purple. All right, you've said it enough. Bobby. Gigantic <laughs> dildo. Uh, it's like a pogo stick, Bobby. <laughs> What you say? What you, are you asking me if it's like a pogo stick? No, I'm. Asking, I have no idea. I'm asking you for your, the your oh, oh, okay. opinion on the funniest <laughs> level slash mission in a video game. Mine was the other night. I was playing Borderlands Two, of course. Um, I, and I ran into two bandits that were beating up this robot from Hyperion Corporation. Well, they beat him up enough, but they didn't kill him. And the robot wanted you to take his AI core and put it into a new body for him. And he's like, I would be ever so grateful and thank you endlessly if you'd put me in a new body. So you take him, you take him to this new body and, he, and you put him in. And all of a sudden he's like, thank you so much. Now I will murder you. <laughs> so he starts to try to kill you and then you have to beat him again. And you take him to a different body again. He's like, I'm sorry. I won't, I won't, ki- I won't try to kill you. I won't. I promise. Next thing you know, he tries to kill you again. And then he's like, okay, just take me to a radio somewhere. <laughs> you take him to the radio. He tries to kill you with loud, terrible music. And then... <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you on yeah, crack? He, he, try, he tries to kill you with loud, terrible music. It, like what kind of music? Just it's, it's like country, the Dubstep. loudest country Dubstep. you can imagine. <laughs> and then after that... You hit him again, and you hit him and take him out of the radio, and he's like, "Okay, you could just either turn me into a gun or a shield." So I turned him into a gun, and it's like the best weapon in the, the game now. Based, on, it's not a very good weapon. It's just based on the fact that this gun is hilarious because it sounds like a Dalek. And <laughs> when you go to zoom in, he's like, "Zoom, zoom!" And when you like pull the trigger, he's like, "Kill, kill, kill!" <laughs> it's it's great. It's amazing. Uh, I, I laugh for hours. <laughs> no? Uh, First he waved me on, and then he waved me off. I was going to send it to you to say, uh, Fuzzwad on Twitter says uh, he uh, he needs to have a colonial jacket, too. Oh, come on. Now you're just getting <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, <sighs> you're getting... No. It's... He needs a he needs a toy rifle now. <laughs> yep. Just go out, and, just go out and full steam. Right no, you guys are you're taking it too far. So, um, no, we're not. <laughs> We're not there no, yet. we are not. <laughs> You're not there yet. This episode of Animal Sword Coin to Begin is brought to you by... Colonial America. <laughs> brought to America. You by the, <laughs> the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> um, I know, that's the wrong time period. Maybe I should play in a canoe. You should. You know, to, to signify or symbolize... Uh, Washington crossing the Delaware. How are oh, you going to get then, a canoe into your room? Come I on. don't know. Come on. Then you have hey. you need the powdered wig. If they can get <laughs> tiny planes into a room, they can get a canoe. That's a different show. So that's a different show. <laughs> what if I just had half a canoe? Half a canoe. Yeah, just cut a canoe in half. <laughs> and put just half. put it in front of you on the recliner. Yeah, so it looks like I'm sitting in a canoe. Oh man. What happened to this show? Um, uh, the chat room says, uh, uh, Revolution says, any Earthworm Jim level. And insert coin to begin, brought to you by Royal Land Grants? Yeah, by AJ. Um, I'm going to have to go with a mission I did in GTA 4. Uh, you have to kidnap a mob boss's daughter. And instead of throwing her in the trunk from the beginning, <gasps> you you put her in the uh, I remember this mission. you put her in the passenger seat. That's right. <laughs> so you're driving around in this car with this angry chick sitting next to you, <laughs> and out of nowhere, the car will just swerve mm-hmm. because she's hitting you or grabbing the wheel or <laughs> pinching you, and the character is reacting to it, and it takes all of the control away from you. Like, it, it catches you off guard just like it would normally. So you have to try to uh, you know, control the car back to a safe location. Or uh, anytime you get into the car drunk in that game. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I would just like to point out for the record that we here at insertcointobegin.com do not condone the act of driving under the influence of any drug or alcohol substance. Unless you're, unless you're unless playing a video, video game. game. Or you're wearing a colonial hat. <laughs> no, no, the hat. No, not even then. No, no. not even the hat. <laughs> oh, wow. You guys are <laughs> something. Uh, what is the most addicting video game song Ever. Ever. Yeah. Um, Riz. <clears throat> Hold on one moment. You can skip me for a little bit. Keep going. All right, Bobby. Uh, mine would be um, Mega Man, I think five. Uh, ha- it was either five or six. Had Nightman. And that was like my favorite Mega Man song uh, out of all the levels. Even though I, I, made, I even made a CD when I was a kid. Of every Mega Man level music, <laughs> one through six. So give you a and, thumbs up. And and one and and, and then I, I went I think eight nine or seven eight nine. No, not nine because nine just came out recently. But it was like it was a lot of music for Mega Man that I had, and I can't find the disc. So, Aww. but that that would that was that, that was my favorite. Also, any anything from Portal, like at the end of the game, those songs were amazing too. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the Tetris theme song. Um, <laughs> a, a, that you can a, you can pick that up. Um, at any point in time. So, yeah, uh, it, it's just one of those where if you get into a jam when you're loading up the back of a vehicle after a show, <laughs> you just uh, start thinking about that music and that car automatically packs itself. Mm-hmm. Um, Riz. Do you hear that? Yes. Very wow. well. That is my ringtone. <laughs> Do I need to explain to you how awesome this song is? Uh, when Sorg, you can, Sorg is applauding you from uh, behind the switcher. When you can put this song in anything and make it better, there is a there is a ten hour video on YouTube. Of a guy <laughs> dancing to a chicken to KFC chicken with this song. <laughs> so tell me, is there any other better song than this? Notice and we, I'm gonna notice we mentioned it. two Comcat uh, Capcom. Yeah, Capcom. Yeah. Yep. Well, Capcom, I mean Capcom. Capcom made they used to great. know what it was doing. Mm. Yeah, they used <laughs> to know. Then they started what doing. Happened? Then they stopped the same doing fighting game over and over again. Then they fired the guy that made and they created Mega Man. Man, <sighs> rip that guy. Sorg, Lego Movie, Lego Movie, Lego Movie, Lego Movie, Lego Movie. I want to swear, Lego the Newsroom. That's a TV show. That's a TV That's show. That's all I got right now. That's all I've been watching. Fine, Lego Lego Boardwalk Empire. Oh, we doing shows? Because I had a movie. Alright, what's a movie? Lego Things We Lost in the Fire. <laughs> what the <laughs> what? Bobby? Or Riz? Lego Homeland. Wow. Wow. Lego, Lego two and a half man. L- Lego Homeward Bound. We you are listening to Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play, the uh, weekly episodic uh, podcast talking about video games and different topics. Uh, you can join us each and every week here around about 8, 8.30-ish, depending on what time we get started at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You can find us on iTunes. We are on the Google Pluses, the Facebooks, the Twitters, at Insert Coin TV. Benji, uh, Lego Benji, the For the Love of Benji. Nice. <laughs> for the Love of Benji, come on. <laughs> you, can join us, you can join us in the, uh, the chat room and uh, tell us your thoughts to... Uh, either the questions or the answers that we are giving, you can yell at us. We we don't mind that. Lego Pawn Stars. <laughs> wow. What'd you say, Riz? Lego Pawn Stars. <laughs> <laughs> I said Lego Perfect Strangers. I sort of brought up the picture for Benji. Uh, you can uh, check out our stories each and every day at insertcointobegin.com. Gaming news for gamers by gamers. Lego Benji the Hunted. Uh, for. That's what, I was trying, that's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> For Sorg, uh, for Bobby, for Riz, I am at Chachi Says. You can find us all on the internets. 
We will rule the world. Lego Air Bud. Lego Air Bud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week, and uh, keep it nerdy, nerds. Lego Beethoven. <laughs>